Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here with Tom Whittaker to find out how JCB is assembling their equipment for a 3D world with the integration of Leica Geosystems. So why we stood here, Tom, in this next section, when we're going to talk about 3D machine control, it's all because of process, isn't it? You're the assembly manager here at the heavy equipment plant. Yeah, absolutely. So what we're doing stood here is stood just by our shot blast process. And I think what we're trying to articulate is that we're going right from a piece of steel right through to that finished product and adding the latest digital technology on right through that process. So the latest Leica 3D control or 2D control solution that we're offering to customers isn't a bolt-on solution, isn't something that we're offering as dealer fit. It's integrated into our processes. And that process starts with steel being cut, shaped, welded into a revolver frame, then coming through our shot bass processes before heading straight down to our paint plant where we're going to go next. Fantastic. So, folks, it's all about going from end-to-end -end steel all the way to the yellow we know for JCB. Let's go see some yellow, folks. Come on, let's go. So, folks, the yellow of JCB is here and the metal has now been painted. But this is a part of the process of designing a machine end-to-end, -end, even for the 3D machine control, because yellow is the colour and we need it to stay at a high quality throughout everything we do with the machine, don't we? Yeah, correct. It's a fundamental process, making sure we've got that paint to a high quality. The machine will then be moving through our quality bay that you've got behind you. That's just the first of 16 quality processes that the machine will go through before it gets to our customer and goes out to the door to one of our dealers. And unlike bolted on that system, like has been integrated right through. So any changes we're having to make to the revolver frame, to the boom, to the arm, they've been designed in by our team, British engineers here at Heavy Products. So that means it's then going through our design process, through our paint process, through quality. At no point are we compromising those structures by the addition of software or systems after the fact. And that's why it's been a factory fit solution. There's been a number of years in the making and all of the new products now uh, rolling out that are capable of having the 3D machine control factory fitted. Just seen one of those in the quarry, the 145 XR coming very soon. Come on then, let's go and see the next phase. So now we're revolving onto the next phase with Tom. Tom, this is the revolver, but it's now getting some hydraulics, but most importantly for machine control, the electronic harness in there as well, isn't it? Yeah, correct. So if we're looking at our revolver in our prep stage here, this is where the team start laying out the harnesses, clipping them up in all the relevant points to make sure we've got all those connectors where they need to be. Once we start putting things like the engine, the cab, the tanks, the pumps, everything like that onto the machine. Now, if you imagine some of these harnesses would be incredibly hard to then modify or route once we've got those parts on them. Yeah. So the benefit of having a factory fitted installation is we can plan that into our assembly process and make sure it's actually integrated into our own harnesses, minimizing any risk of disruption or potential damage to the machine at a later date. And of course, folks, if a harness needs replacing, you're replacing a whole harness and therefore that's got the 3D machine control harness capability in there anyway, hasn't it? So whatever happens, you've got everything in one spot that's rooted properly and it's not going to have any pinch points or anything like that, is it? Correct. Exactly the same as all the other parts. It's gone through our engineering processes. We've done all that failure mode analysis to make sure there isn't a potential for chafing, for trapping, for pinching. Yeah. And we've got the harness in the correct place to make sure the connectors are where they need to be. Fantastic. Now it's on to the next pose. We've got to pop the cab on top pose. Come on. So we're here now at the cab, folks, and the cab's what really matters because you're going to put the Leica machine control tablet in the cab. This is where the wiring is, is critical, isn't it? Because when you've got the cab in here, you don't want people to be necessarily taking that all out up and feeding stuff through where the factory fit actually does that for you, isn't it? Yeah, correct. So we're stood in front of the Command Plus cab. It's our premium operator environment, and it's where all the control of the machine comes from. Now, as you say, the cab is engineered, designed and built just across the road at our cab systems facility. And that Leica harness and all the bracketry that the Leica kit goes onto has all been designed into here as well. So there's no cutting of panels. There's no trying to find extra earth leads in there. There's no need to try and find power or route things through the system. So all the panels are left untouched. It's integrated into the machine. And it means that when we get there, we've got a really clean installation as well. So we're not damaging that operator environment, which you know is really critical for the guys who are spending eight hours plus a day sat in the cab. Yeah, and of course, folks, you know, when you've got that, you've got the optimized position as well, where you can fit the tablet to, to suit the operator when they've got 
the critical thing is to keep that visibility open for people using it and obviously to get them to be able to take advantage of, of that system. So the cab is created just there. Um, we're creating all of the wiring just here. We're doing the metal all the way from the factory. So everything, folks, is integrated, including the next phase where we're going to talk to right now. So follow me, come on. So Tom, this is the attachment area. And guess what, folks? This is one of the attachments that needs to have a sensor on it. And we've got the brackets there already welded in, gone to the paint shop at the same time that the whole attachment element has gone, isn't it? So we've got boom and stick to have all of these sensors on. And this is one of the machines that is actually like a ready to go into the next phase to get that ready on the system, isn't it? Uh, that's correct, Peter. So just like everything else, designed into the machine, built as part of the process. So at no point are we modifying this. It's yeah. part of that design process. It's then going through the shop blast, it's going through the paint process, so we can guarantee that quality as part of our warranty to make sure we're satisfied with those structures. And there's no risk as well. No one's cutting anything, grinding anything, trying to touch up paint after the fact as well. Yeah, and of course, what is really critical for me, folks, is warranty. You know, you mentioned the warranty there. It's crucial to get people buying new equipment so they can benefit from all of the benefits of that new equipment. But also when they're buying something and it's integrated with a full warranty, we've got that peace of mind, haven't you? Correct. Because it's a, a factory design solution, we're going to stand by it. Like yeah. we stand by our products in their normal general use. We're a big brand, but we're there to talk to our customers. We're there to listen to them, but we always stand by it. And that's the most important thing that we can guarantee it. Fantastic. So time to see something more. Come on. So, Tom, we've now got a JCB220 here. And, folks, this is like a ready, but it's going where? This machine's heading off to Germany. So once it rolls off the production line tomorrow, once it's gone through our final quality inspection processes, it'll be heading out the door onto the back and wagon and heading to one of our customers out in Germany. And so, obviously, the Leica dealers around the world are then going to support that customer through your dealer network to get completely Leica ready from inside the cab and everything. So, wow, so we're exporting the, the benefits of that system and factory integrated. So let's just have a quick look at what we've got here. So one of the sensors already mounted here. Yeah, correct. So we've got, as part of our process, when we built up that arm and dipper, we then connected that onto the, uh, the revolving frame, passed it through our startle process before hot test. So when this machine went out to hot test, it had all those sensors connected up to it. Machines go through a standard four hour inspection. Machines are run up, up through various different duty cycles. And so all that technology is going through exactly the same test we put through one of our other machines. Right, so again, so there we've got one of the sensors here. You see up there, there's another one of the sensors we're talking about when we look at the attachment further on. Come over here with me, Tom, because this is where it all happens. And actually, when you've got to test the 3D solution, uh, you've got to actually plug it in as well. So it's plugged in with the Leica solution there, but that gets looked after by the dealer network and also the, the Leica dealer network because it's 2D that you focus on as it comes out of the factory first, isn't it? Yeah, correct. We offer 2D, 2D options and 3D ready. And then we pass that onto the dealer network to ensure that we're getting that specification exactly as the customer requires. So we're not limiting what options the customers want, but building on all those benefits of it being factory fitted, factory engineered. And that dealer network is also doing some really, really important things because what we haven't got on this machine right now is an attachment, whether that be a tilt rotator, whether that be a bucket, whether it be a tilt bucket, and that calibration is required. And again, that whole process has been gone through, hasn't it? With like a training the dealers to make sure that they've calibrated in the machine when it leaves the dealership as a 3D solution that this one's going to be, it's actually all ready to go with the attachments as well. Yeah, correct. We obviously sell attachments from the factory, but quite often a customer wants to use their existing attachments or they want to use a different. And what that um, potential gives us in the process then is that customers can choose that attachment and have it set up specifically for what they're doing in the field. So when we say Leica ready, it's actually rolling out onto the job site from the dealer network, ready to dig. And therefore, all it needs is a lovely engineer to put that 3D model in. And away we go with the JCP, completely integrated, factory fit, machine control. And I love it, folks. Fantastic to see you today. Thanks for spending see time you again, with me. Peter. Cheers. Really appreciate it.